Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got a new thing that holds my phone. Pretty cool. Uh, it was a Dave and Sissy Amazon deal. If you're not following Dave and Sissy and their Amazon deals, you, what are you doing? But today's um, vlog is going to be called uh, Milkshakes and Marauder's Maps. Because not only am I wearing my new Marauder's Map pajamas that I got at Walmart for $16.96, thank you. It's shirt and shorts and sockies. But look, Jim just happened to give me the Marauder's Map cup with my milkshake in it today. This is a vanilla thick shake with a chocolate float in Carb Smart ice cream. And they made it perfectly again today. This always reminds me of my mom because whenever we would go to Carvel, that's what she'd get a vanilla thick shake with a chocolate float. And now anytime I see Mr. Softy, that's what I get. Anytime I go to a shake place that does soft serve custard style ice cream so first let me apologize for not letting you know that there was no vlog yesterday until too late if you were worried about me I apologize yesterday I had a a personal issue um, and I and I just couldn't vlog and I couldn't um, I wasn't in the right mind to even remind you that I wasn't, or tell you that I wasn't vlogging, so you wouldn't have to worry, and I apologize if anybody worried. Jim and I had a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, going through a lot of stuff. And, hold on a second, let me see, let me see something, hold on. Yeah, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. Um... We were just talking about a lot of stuff yesterday and, you know, as you know, we're both going through a lot. We're dealing with a lot and we just really need to keep the lines of communication open and clear and talk to each other and work things out before they become big issues. So that's kind of what yesterday was and I was just dealing with that and I couldn't talk to you guys because I ran out of time. Today we were going to have a date night home, watch a movie, and milkshakes, and cookies, and puff popcorn. Not real popcorn, but like the puffy kind. Because my mouth doesn't like the kernels in the popcorn. But after doing my wound care, I'm very wiped out. Not really feeling great. Um, I have, like, almost feel like they're hives. I'm done with the, with the the antibiotic that's like a sulfur based antibiotic but I finished it like Thursday morning was the last dose and the rash started yeah like Friday so I know you can develop um a, you know an allergy after way after the fact I think almost up to 30 days However, Jim pointed something out today that the water softener salt was just about run out. Was it out, out, or was it run out? Jim? Yeah. Were we out of water softener salt, or was it almost out? Yeah, we were, like, completely out? out? Perfectly. Yeah. So he was thinking maybe we both had, like, when I took my shower, maybe we both had, like, skin irritations from the water softeners not being, not being functioning. So... That could be it. Can't figure out why we ran out of water softener salt though. Doesn't usually happen. But anyhow, um, I know if you're watching this first thing in the morning, you're like, milkshakes at 8 a.m.? I don't care. No shame in my game. Um... I didn't get to tell you yesterday what was for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I didn't have dinner, actually, um, because of Jimmy and I was just talking. We skipped over dinner. Lunch was string cheese, peanut butter, and a yogurt. Breakfast was... Yesterday, breakfast was eggs, sausage, and toast. Um... It was good. 
And today, breakfast was eggs, sausage, and toast. Today, I actually got two pieces of toast because I was thinking about making a sandwich, but it didn't quite work out that way for me. It's starting to get really warm here, which is why I got new summer pajamas. Um, I have other pajamas with shorts, but they're like really long, like almost complete length or Bermuda shorts, I guess really would be what they are. Um, but actually I just looked up Harry Potter stuff and this was there. They said that a pair of women's pajama pants um, and they were sold out or they didn't have it in stock, but Jim got his pajama pants and they got pockets, he's happy. What else? Um, Jim went to Aldi today. He did Walmart grocery pickup. Walmart curbside pickup. Sorry about that. That was Sharon called. And I'm now I'm finished with my milkshake. <laughs> I was saying that um, Jim did um, curbside pickup. So those of you who don't know... I'm not sure that you do know this or some don't know. You can get curbside pickup. There is no minimum. And as long as there's no groceries, like there's no food. So say you need like health and beauty aids or you need craft stuff or you need clothes, electronics, those kinds of things. You can go and get them um, put into your car. There's no minimum purchase. They won't charge you anything. Um, and it used to be like kind of like their site to store pickup, but now they do curbside pickup. So basically... They come and put it in the car for you and all that stuff. So he ended up getting the water softener salt. Um, and he got his, his, oh, he got, uh, he needed more underwear. So he picked up his underwear and water softener salt at the curbside pickup. Um, for movie night, we bought a big peanut butter cup stuffed with pretzels and a big peanut butter cup stuffed with potato chips but we didn't try them yet but i was just letting you know we're gonna try them i know they're not no carb low carb and the ones with the pretzels it's not gluten free however gotta try some stuff you know just some things you just have to try for yourself you know just believe in everybody else's opinions of what it's like it's probably just not good enough um so uh today's saturday you're watching this on sunday um Next week's Mother's Day. Um, today is my Nan's birthday. She would be 111 today, which is a, what we call the shit house from bowling. And um, it's, just a, it's just a good day. Oh, I don't know. Just time goes by so slowly and quickly at the same time if that makes any sense i know you guys know what i mean there's sometimes where the days just go fly right by and there's sometimes when you're waiting in anticipation for something and it feels like it's forever you know you know i mean 24 hours is 24 hours it's not you know nothing changes other than perspective you know um I had an appointment with my doctor, a video conference appointment with my oncologist. And uh, one of the things he was very concerned about was why I still have uh, the mucositis after all this time off of the treatment. Uh, and I honestly don't know. I don't know why I still have it. Um, uh, one of the people who come here um, is a survivor of cancer and had mucositis and hers took like three months to clear up. So I'm allowing myself to have the patience with myself I, I, that I was not letting myself have before, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I make sense to you guys because sometimes I don't make sense to myself. Now that I'm done with my shake, I'm going to do my mouth treatment. I'm going to... Um, Wash my face, brush my teeth, do my mouth treatment, get my meds, blah, blah, blah. 
and get ready for bed. Um, gym is, oh, date day. So like I didn't, I started to not feel like my brain was going to allow me to concentrate on a new movie. So hopefully we'll be able to watch it tomorrow. Hopefully I'll feel good enough to do some stuff tomorrow. Today I slept in quite a bit. Um, I slept hard. Jim said every time I checked on you, he's like, you were out cold. And I was like, yeah, I slept hard today. So I guess I need it. My body needs it, you know. I am... Did my nails? I'm just having like a day. The day isn't great. The day is not bad. It's just a day. And it's gone by just as quickly as a hiccup, it feels like. And... I didn't have any lunch, so for breakfast I had sausage eggs and eggs over easy sausage and to gluten-free toast. And for uh, kind of like part of the brunch process, because it was like 12.30 by the time I actually ate, I also had my yogurt um, so that I could make sure that I had my probiotics, you know. And sorry, my gauze pad fell off. Um this one forgive me it gets tucked under this halter top there we go um and then for dinner i had leftover uh chicken alfredo chicken carbonara uh with gluten-free wheat uh, linguine which was good very very good actually they had a black pepper and parmesan romano Parmigiano Reggiano, no, Parmesan Romano com combination cheese. So that was really good. Um, I just feel lost today, I think. I spent a lot of the day uh, letting my leg air out. And that, of course, is just constantly on the one side. Um, but I actually slept pretty much the whole morning on the other side, so that's why that happened. But listen, I love you guys. Nobody's told you today that you are loved. You can always come by and hear how much I love you, even if I'm having an ick day. Um... The pajamas made me smile when I got my pajamas. My milkshake made me smile. I had lots of smiles. I had lots of moments of joy. It's just overall the whole day is just eh. I mean, the weather's not great, so maybe that's part of it. You know, sometimes when the weather's eh, you feel eh. Not just emotionally, but like physically, you know. The barometric pressure messes with your joints. So that could be it, to be honest. But listen, I love you. Don't forget, all right? Promise? Okay. As always, you guys take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye.